Hello folks, this is Ayat Tiranjha from InspireToRise.com and today we have the HTC Desire 825 smartphone here with us for a complete review of the same. So guys, let's begin. The HTC Desire 825 comes with a 5.5 inch 720p display and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass. The display itself is of a good quality. On the left hand side of this phone we have the dual SIM tray slot and you also get the micro SD card for expansion and on the right hand side we have the power button and the volume rocker for this smartphone and on the bottom we have the micro USB port, the speaker grill and you get a hole for inserting a loop in it so as to keep the smartphone safe and on the top you have the 3.5mm jack and you get the camera bump. Inside the hood it comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 chipset, quad core 1.6 GHz Cortex A7 and it comes with around 2 gigs of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage, micro SD, expandable up to 256 GB. It supports all of the sensors that are required for a good experience but it does not have a gyroscope sensor so no VR on this smartphone. It comes with a non-removable lithium ion 2700 mAh battery and battery life during our usage went from maybe like 6 on the morning to 6 in the evening not that much high in terms of Antutu benchmark it scored around 31,000 plus 56.5 frames per second on the Nina Mark 2 benchmark 405 on the single core and 1424 on the multi core none of the scores are stellar all of the scores point towards a mediocre performance on this smartphone and it's not a really highly heavy performing smartphone even while playing games I found out that it was lagging and subway surf etc were fine but when playing really heavy games like Grand Theft Auto Vice City the frame drops were really visible the lag in the gaming session is visible let's just test the audio output It supports 24 bit 192 kilohertz audio and the good things about the audio is that it has stereo speakers. It comes with a high performance mode which when enabled leads to really high temperatures and even while running benchmarks also I was easily able to push this device up to 40 degree mark. So it does heat up quite a lot while doing really heavy things like gaming or doing benchmarks and overall performance of the smartphone was great. It comes with Android Marshmallow out of the box and the HTC Sense UI on this one is quite quite refined it also has active noise cancellation with dedicated mic and the camera quality let's talk about the camera on this one it comes with a 30 megapixel primary camera with a f2.2 aperture and the front camera is a 5 megapixel one with a f2.8 aperture both of the cameras support up to 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second in terms of camera quality i would say that this is a mediocre smartphone again because of the fact that you can see noise everywhere in the images even in good lighting conditions there was quite a bit of noise in the images and even when I was clicking pictures of the sky also there was noise to be seen even in the video itself there is quite a lot of noise so I would say that this is one of the less stellar offerings by HTC and you can see all of the modes available here it supports geotagging, touch focus, face detection, HDR mode and panorama and you also get to choose between 16 is to 9 and 4 is to 3 aspect ratios which is almost common on every smartphone out there. If we talk about the cons of this camera then the less wide aperture is one of the cons of this camera and you can also look at the fact that when I just click the image right now even in that image you can see that the sharpness is not that much when you zoom into the image and you see different things they are not that clear. This device retails for a price of around 17,700 rupees and for this price it is not a highly recommended smartphone because at this price you can easily get the Vivo V3 Max or even better smartphones at this price range and if you go slightly higher up you can get even better phones like the Mi 5 etc. So guys this was it for this video in case you like this one don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is Aitya Najha from InspireToRise.com signing of folks stay inspired for us.